Oh, that darn message. First, I thought I would show you that you don't have to make the same wreath each time. Here is the same sign. All right, and here's wreath number one. I still have to put the sign in there. This is with the grapevine. Okay. And then here's wreath number two, and this is on a pine wreath. Check it out. These are for my children this year for Christmas, and I try to incorporate things that they like. Um, I make the personalized signs, and I can personalize it with anybody's name. And then because they both had a baby, I thought it'd be cute to add the little boots to the sign. My other son is into deer, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to put some, thank you, some uh, deer antlers in there. They never watch my live, so I'm hoping they don't see this. <laughs> but I have a couple more to make. And each owl on the branch represents a family member, okay? This one has two little doggies on it. I'm not going to show it too close, just in case she does look, so... <laughs> but I thought I'd show you. I'm going to actually take this sign and use it on two more wreaths. So already I've done a pine wreath. I've done a grapevine wreath. Then I'm going to do a mesh wreath. And then I think I'm going to do it on a frame. So I think that'll be really cool. So let me move that out of the way. Also, if you missed my live on YouTube... You might want to check it out because I got another order for um, a breast cancer one. So this is a lot different than the one I did yesterday. Same uh, poof method first. This one I used the woodland ruffle. The other one I used the ruffle on. And then this one I added different components to it. I added, I found my butterflies. So I added butterflies and different ribbon. Um, I went with the purple ribbon this time. So again, it's just something different. Not the same wreath, but same sign. Okay, here goes the Happy Meal. Hi, Nanny Dot, how are you? Hi, Sue. Yes, this is what I've been waiting for. These are called sugar balls. And check it out. We now have them in red and green. And this like brown and gold. Aren't they kind of cool? So they're going to be listed on the on the Et in the Etsy store. I have quite a few of these. Then because the snow out is selling so well. I went ahead and I found more, so I won't be running out. Whoa! There. Okay. But check this out. You know my little black bear sign? Isn't he adorable? I found a little black bear to go with the sign. Because a lot of the... the thank you, Sue. A lot of the out, or bears out there right now are brown, and people are liking the black. So I thought he would look really cute with my black bear sign. It says, have a berry Christmas. I even thought about adding a hat to the sign and then adding a hat to the little bear. Isn't he adorable? Then... This one's staying with me. They only had one left of this guy. So I thought he would go on my bear wreath. But he could also go... Oh, he could also work with the cabin sign I have with the bear. With the red, red and black plaid. Wouldn't that look awesome? Then I found more of the same owl. And I don't know if you've seen his eyes. But his eyes match the sign also. So he's the one we put a little hat on. The blue hat. Then, 
get to the other stuff. These are the hops sprays. And it, I'm not going to take it out because these guys are going to flake everywhere. But I will go ahead and show them to you. I just got my table cleaned up. <laughs> but check these out. These are like a, um, like a copper color. Check those out. They're all glittered. I'm trying to visually... I don't know if you can see them up close. There, now you can see the shine. I have them in that color, and I have them in green. I've been waiting for these for a month. But won't then those look pretty? These, I think, will go awesome with those sugar balls. You can add those in there. Check that out. See how that pulls the coloring out of those sugar balls? That is going to be awesome. I can't wait to make something with that. And then I'll probably have to make a new sign. <laughs> I know. They are so cool looking. I try to look for different stuff. All right. This is what I wanted to show everybody last night but forgot because I was having technical difficulties when I was on my YouTube live, which I'm like five away from a thousand and I'm not far off in the followers on Facebook either. So we're going to have to have a major sign giveaway. Okay. This is my newest sign. Oh, Christmas tree. Now I'm hoping to make a couple of uh, Christmas trees to go with the sign. So they're really going to be cool. Hi, Vicki. Welcome. So there's that one. Then this one. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Check that out. And I don't know if you can see the glitter in this sign or not. And look at the, the jewels around the side. So there you go, a great red and green. Hi, Willie. Great uh, red and blue sign for any Christmas wreath. And then I have this one. This has glitter in it too. This says, Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, Special Delivery. See that written on the truck? Okay, this actually matches let me see. I know I have it here somewhere. It matches the ribbon from, um, oh, it matches the ribbon from Sam's Club. So it matches that ribbon. And then I have the matching ribbon. I had it right here, Dagnabbit. Probably on my desk. Anyhow, <laughs> I have the ribbon to match this, and I also have the ribbon to match this. The one that has, it's white, and then it has the black and white checks down the side, and then it has the triangle Christmas trees. <laughs> I know, they're very popular, aren't they? And then this one, because I also have ribbon to match this. Home sweet home. Isn't that cute for gingerbread? So yeah, I figured I'd jump on and share those with you. Oh, here's the, okay. I did have it back here. I do have the gingerbread ribbon that matches it exactly to the sign. Then this is the one, the special delivery. I know, right? I had so much fun making that one. So much fun. And I wish I had the other one back here. The other ribbon. Who knows where it is? And then I think some of you saw this on my last live. Cow's ring, are you, or cowbell's ring, are you listening? 
Oh, and then my marshmallows came in. Where are my marshmallows? Okay, my marshmallows came in for the, I want hot cocoa with my marshmallows. So we're gonna be doing that one. And then walking in a winter wonderland. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> and then the Merry Christmas one. I wish, I could have sworn I had that right here. Oh well, you watch. As soon as I turn the camera off, bing, it'll show up. I know, and the marshmallows are so cute. They're about like this. There were, I think, like 15 in a package from Amazon. But I think I want to, I think I want to glitter them. Thanks, Will. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've been, you know, you go in spurts. You have these creative moments. And I don't think anybody realizes just how much time you put in a sign. All right. Like this sign here. Okay. You've got the background. You've got the wreath. You've got the cow. You've got the hat with the antlers. You've got the wording. There's a lot of time put into these signs. Like in this one. I added the letters, then I added the peppermint in the middle, then I added the house, and then I added the little gingerbread men. So I really don't think people realize just how much time goes into them. And, and we're learning each time we do one that there are other things we can do, like this one, okay? The words are in glitter. I changed the words to glitter words. So, and then you have to position it and then you have to make sure you're in the middle. And then there are sometimes you print out a sign and your coloring's off. So you gotta go back to the drawing board, reduce the color. Yeah, yeah. And, and sometimes when I sit down, I don't always have the ribbon right next to me and I don't know why I do that. So this time it was kind of like, okay, put the ribbon next to you <laughs> and then work with the sign because you could always pick out mesh or whatever to match. You know, it, it basically starts with one ribbon and then you build. And this, you know, I, I, have the cup and then you know you put it on this and I added a border so there's a lot of detail and like I said before there's a lot of prep work to make sure that your sign stays um, let's see this is this was the one I've had these trees now for like three months I had them made up way before this now this, I learned how to outline and add glitter to it. Um, then you add the stars. Then I added the dots because there are dots in the ribbon. So it, it can get very involved. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. But this one, I wanted a lot of silver glitter. I wanted jewels around the side. Um, I definitely wanted the blue and red. So I had found this design and everything else was added to it. So there's a lot of thought, a lot of prep, and you can't just bang out a sign. They take time. It's fun, but there are times I can sit at that computer and it'll take me a day to do maybe three signs. So. And I'm very particular. I do not want my signs to look like somebody else. I know there's a lot of red truck signs out there, but I had the red truck with the tree and then everything else was designed around that to match the ribbon. So 
it, it's very hard because there are more people doing signs today, so. Uh, all the signs are on the Etsy store. Yes. Um, the picks, these picks and the um, sugar, the sugar ones are not on yet, but they will be on tomorrow. And I did put a link to my Etsy store in there. So the sugar balls will be on there later. Um, the bears, I have a limited supply of the black bears. And like I said, I may take the sign and I may add, may add a hat to the sign. So then we could add a hat to the bear. Um, I'm not quite sure. But the black bear is really popular right now. And then, of course, this guy's staying with me. <laughs> it was the last one. I'm like, no. Because, see, I wanted more. I wanted the brown on the pulse because the sign has the brown on the pulse. Now, I can always add to this, but it's always nice when you get something that's mostly complete and all you have to worry about is the head. So, so these will be on tomorrow. The picks will be on tomorrow, but the signs are, are already there. I have to check on the new ones, the four new ones. Um, definitely the buffalo checker there. And then I'll be adding the ribbon to match, too. And I don't know, when, when you buy a sign, what exactly are you looking for? Are you looking for the ribbon? Are you looking for mesh? Like, kind of give me an idea of what, or do you have supplies of mesh? Okay, honey, I'll, I'll get off and then I'll, I'll share you, miss. Miss is going live next on my sunshine recent things so be sure after you oh and then i wanted to show you one of my newest candy canes i did i actually did the burlap ribbon on the bottom and then i added this because i wanted to go solid on the bow so and i love using that um deco tubing from um dollar tree that looks like burlap. So there's that. All right, I'll check and see if these are added, the four new ones. And if not, I'll add them and I'll add the bear. And uh, let me know, let me know what you wanna start seeing more of. You're probably gonna see a lot of Christmas coming up, but Thank you. All right, I just thought I'd hop on here and uh, and uh, talk to you about the new signs and some of the new items that came in. And I'll be on tomorrow too. All right, have a great evening. Thank you.